What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Miller's Construction. We're gonna talk about holstery products today. I basically have everything that holstery owns uh, in my flex uh, stack packs here. So we're gonna go over a little bit of it. Right off the bat though, we're gonna talk about the Joey pouches. I get a lot of questions about these and I use them all the time. Um, there are basically three different models of Joey pouches and we're gonna talk about the differences and the sizes of each one. Uh, what I use them for, are they durable? All that good stuff. So let's get right into it. Basically you've got three different Joey pouches. This is the big Joey pouch, big Joey pouch. And these are the two regular Joey pouches. This is the pro, this is the regular. What are the differences? On the pro, we've got a steel belt clip. This is like a spring steel. And on the regular, we've got a plastic one. Now they're advertising that the pro one is more durable and you can definitely see why because the pro one is steel. Steel's gonna last longer than plastic. I've had this one, this is the original one uh, for probably two years now and the plastic still has not failed me. It's been fine. Um, just to be honest with you, I actually prefer the one with the plastic. It slips on a lot easier than the steel one. So a lot of times I will actually take these things and I'll just, I might just um, slip it onto my shorts pocket or pants pocket and it's real quick and easy. If you're not loading up the uh, pouches with a ton of weight, this right here is an option for you. I just, I hate carrying more than what's necessary. And with this product line from the holstery, uh, you don't have to. And that, that's the whole thing, you know. There's a lot of really nice, expensive tool bag companies out there like Diamondback or Badger Tool Belts. Those are great. They've just never been for me. Um, I don't like to carry more than I need to on a job site. So um, that's where these Joey pouches come in handy. So the, the main differences though between the regular Joey pouch and the Pro Joey pouch are Obviously the plastic belt clip versus the stainless steel, but it's also got this reinforcement here. So this is gonna last longer. It's got this reinforced stitching versus just standard stitching on the regular one. Um, I haven't any, had any problems or any failures with the regular one. Now, I will warn you, when you first get a Joey pouch, it's a little bit different. You see this little cinch and you think, well, that's just gonna cinch the whole pouch up. That's not the way it works. It cinches the fabric inside. So I'm gonna do this for you. See how that cinches the fabric up? It's not actually cinching the pouch up. So I can't tell you how many times this has come in handy for me um, if I'm on a roof or in an attic, especially if I'm in an attic, it seems like um, I will put like, you know, wire nuts, tape, even some small pliers, a knife, something like that in here. I'll cinch it up and I'll just toss it through the attic with me. I don't even wear it. And I know my stuff's not gonna fall out. Um, it really comes in handy on a roof too if you need to put some fasteners in there or something. Cinch it up, throw it up on the roof to your guy. I'm usually that guy, uh, it's dad throwing it up there to me. Um, really, really handy, super lightweight. Now recently they come out with the Big Joy pouch and I actually like this Big Joy pouch even better than the regular one because I can fit um, larger tools in here. So you can put pliers, screwdrivers, larger stuff in here and you don't have to worry about um, you know, them being too tall or too big to, to fall out. Um, the big Joey pouch is just like the regular Joey pouch pro. It's got the uh, steel clip and the reinforcement on the stitching. So um, there's your three Joey pouches. Like I said, I actually prefer the plastic. I know it's not technically going to last longer because it's plastic over steel, but I haven't had any problems. And I like that it slips onto the belt a little bit quicker and easier. Um, I don't know, and, and unhooking it's a little easier for me. All right, so some people wanna know the dimensions or the sizes of the Joey pouches, so I'm just gonna give them to you real quick. So I got my tape measure here. Uh, the mouth of the Joey pouch, that's kind of in its natural state. Inside diameter about five and a quarter, something like that. Uh, you might say five and a half right there, inside diameter. Um, across the bottom, about six and a half right there and then height about seven and a quarter something like that now this is this is the big joy pouch so here's the pro joy pouch the smaller one it is about six and a quarter tall something like that um, the mouth 
diameter inside about four and a half inches, something like that. And let's see, and then the width across it's about five inches, something like that. So, and it's, it's basically the same as the regular Joey pouch in size. So really nice. Um, I, I do have one complaint. Um, you know, nothing's perfect, and I do have one complaint, and I've told them this. I do not like their pencil holders. They have, you know, you, you can put more than just a pencil in these little loops, but the loops are not tight enough for me. So what happens as I'm working is this little number right here. Pencil just falls out. I hate that. I find my pencil, uh, even, even, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's a, that's a round pencil. You're supposed to use a square carpenter's pencil. No, no, no. I use the square carpenter pencils too, and it does the exact same thing it falls out. So I wish that was like a closed loop or maybe just one design closed loop. So thankfully for me, I've got the true work pants. So I just put that pencil in the pencil slot right there a lot of times and it doesn't bother me as bad, but um, can I use it with my current belt? Do you have to buy the holstery belt? No, you don't have to buy the holstery belt. This is the holstery mod belt. Really, really nice. I love this belt and I'm not a belt guy. I don't typically wear a belt. I'm not wearing a belt right now. Uh, but if I'm going to wear a belt, this holstery mod belt is awesome because of the way it's designed. It basically has this Velcro. So it's got this Velcro. You set it where you're, you're comfortable and forget it. So once you get this set, um, they have a few different sizes. This is, I believe, machined aluminum. And they make all this stuff right in the United States, in Idaho too, by the way. But this this mod belt is really, really nice because it works with, I, I like True Work pants. These are True Work T1 shorts. It's pretty much all I wear is True Work T1 pants, short, shorts, stuff like that. Um, this belt fits those shorts and pants and it just hooks together like this. So there's, there's, there's no buckle, it's just a hook. And it's really convenient and easy to use. And then you can clip your Joey pouches and all your accessories onto it wherever you want all the way around. Um, but you can use a regular belt with this system, which is nice. You, don't, you do not have to have the mod belt, although I do recommend it, I like it. Um, sometimes in the winter time it gets too cold. This is just a cheap belt from Menards. It's a tough, tough built belt that just clicks together and it's adjustable. What I like about this is I wear the True Work T3 bibs and a massive coat. This system does not work in the winter time unless you're wearing a belt that goes over all of that. Once again, I don't want to carry tools that are unnecessary. So what I'll do is I'll take this belt and I'll put all of my pouches or whatever I'm using on this belt over my bibs, over that big coat. I'll extend it out because obviously you've got all that insulation on, so you got to make it a lot bigger, but it's very comfortable and you're still lightweight, still mobile, works really well. Um, I have actually used the Joey pouches and all of this with other belts. It depends on the stretchability of the belt. If the belt is a little stretchy, these are going to sag with a lot of weight, but if the belt is pretty stiff, um, you can really load these down. I will, another thing, go, going back to the Joey pouches, what do I use this for? Drywall screws, um, roof nails, roofing screws. We do a lot of exposed fastener metal roofing. This is great. You can dump an entire bag of metal roofing screws into the big Joey pouch. You can dump pretty much the whole bag into the regular Joey pouches too. Uh, works really well for carrying stuff like that. Just bulk fasteners. I love it for that. But I'll just, I'll just throw random stuff in there too. So anyways, Joy pouches are great. You don't have to have um, any specific belt to use them. What's, what next? This is one of the new products that has got to be my favorite thing from the holstery. And what this is, this is um, the Square Master, I believe is what they call this. So here's my Johnson triangle square. It just clips in. When I first seen this, I thought this is going to be really difficult for me to get used to doing. It is not. Um, it, it just feels natural. I will put this on my backside, right around the very back part of me, um, and it just feels natural to reach around my back and slip that in. That just works really well for me. So uh, if you, if you uh, use a triangle square, definitely get one of these. These things are great. This is um, uh, all plastic. Even the clip is plastic. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. I've been using it like crazy, but man, it, it holds your square really well. And then when you're ready for it, take it right out. So the 
Square Master is awesome. Um, they've got the Hammer Master. This thing is great. You know, it's, it's just a hammer loop. Nothing more to say. And this one is the plastic version. I don't know if they sell a pro version of that or not. Um, got the Driver Master. So this thing, actually, no, this is the Tape Master. So your tape measure, pretty easy. Save your pants pockets. So instead of a pants pocket, put it on there and on your belt and you're not wearing out your pants pocket. I do use this all the time, actually. Uh, what else? What else we got here? Okay, so this is the Driver Master. You can also use it for a tape, I found out. It's a little bit slimmer, so you can hang like um, screw guns with the uh, Driver Master. Works just fine. What's really nice about the Driver Master, and I'm not on the job site right now, uh, so I can't show you that, but I've got the Milwaukee, the little M12 stapler. It fits perfectly on that Driver Master. Um, what else do I use this thing for? Um, oh, the nibbler, the new Milwaukee nibbler. It's got a belt hook, fits on there really well. Um, there's a couple other things that I actually hook onto this. Um, I've even hooked uh, siding nailers onto it before. It works really well, really, really nice feature. So yeah, if you have a driver at all, I, re I recommend this. Um, and then we've got, of course, the um, Magmaster. So this is just a magnet, and this is the pro one. It's got the spring steel. Um, what I do when I get them, I haven't done it with this one yet. I haven't used this one very much yet. I've got the regular one with the plastic. I will bend that spring steel and get it a little bit looser and it makes it easier to, to slip onto my belt. But what's really cool about this, this is aluminum, so it's not gonna work, but uh, magnetic. So any tool that you have that's magnetic, that magnet is crazy strong. It is not coming off. I have hooked, Pretty big flat bars to this. Seems like a flat bar is big and awkward and heavy. I'll put this thing on my side, slam that flat bar to it. It will hold it up. Actually, let me just go get a flat bar real quick. All right, so here I got a couple of tools. Let's see how this thing works. So we'll go with the lightest to the heaviest tool. This is, this is just a pair of pliers. You can hear the click. The thing's not coming off. I mean, it, it really works well. So where this comes in handy, is just for a single tool. Um, now you can put fasteners on there. A lot of guys will put fasteners. I have used this with massive lags, like, I don't know, six, six inch U2 fasteners. I've put on here, clip it onto my belt, and I'll put some of those massive lags if I'm tying down trusses or something like that. This works really nice for that. But for a single tool, I mean, that thing is on there. You know, it, it really works well. Um, we'll move up to a flat bar. It, it just, it's really, really, really uh, strong. Look at that. That flat bar is on there. It's, it's, it's not coming off unless you pull it off. Hammer, even a hammer. I mean, that's, that's crazy, right? Um, I've put a sledge on there before. <laughs> um, pretty heavy sledge. So the Magmaster, I, you know, I think a lot of guys use the Magmaster more than anything just because it's so convenient. Um, you don't even have to feel where your stuff's at. You just put that Magmaster on and just, it just, it just snaps right to you. So, all right, so I got my nephew Bentley with me. He's modeling the Hammer Master for us. Check this thing out. Take it out for him. Yeah, that pretty comfy. Mm -hmm. Now you can put it back in. Okay, and what you got on this side? All right, regular Joey pouch. And he's just got that tough built belt on and that's pretty light and fast, isn't it, Bentley? Yeah, yeah you like it? Mm -hmm. All right. So what I've got on is the Tape Master. Now, I, I gotta say too, normally I wouldn't have all of this on. Usually it's only three items, maybe four at the very most. But I've got the Tape Master on. Also, works better if you tuck your shirt in. I don't like to tuck my shirt in. That bothers me while I'm working. Um, I don't know, it just does. Uh, got the big Joey pouch right here. That's a comfortable position for me to reach back, grab my fasteners. I've got my screw gun. You know, that's comfortable for me. I don't know. Um, what's th that's what's nice though. It's completely customizable. And then you've got Driver Master. I mean, does it get any easier than that? And that's comfortable. This th this thing, you know, it's pretty heavy because I got that big 6.3 on there, which is not normally what I would use on an impact. Usually it's the 4.0 on the Bosch, but I, I use the Flex most of the time. This is just what I keep at my house. Uh, but this is the big 6.3 and Boom, 
you know it's it that's that's a pretty heavy driver but uh very secure you know that thing's not coming off do a little shake there for you <laughs> uh, so we'll take that off i do have the magmaster on there right through the shirt right through the shirt right there no problem you know um pair of pliers how about that pair of pliers there you go walk around like that oh check this one out how about this action let me take them pliers off you know square master it just works really well for me that's uh that's comfortable for me i can quickly grab it you know mark my board put it back in no big deal um this is not the shirt that i typically wear to work uh, I wore a nice shirt for the video. You got to understand that. But um, that's just, I don't know. That's really comfortable for me. And then normally I would have my hammer like on my left side right there. That's pretty comfortable where the driver master is, you know. I don't like to load myself up with excess tools. So I'm, I'm never wearing all this stuff at the exact same time. But uh, just to show you kind of the size of the big joy pouch. That's a big, that's a pretty good sized pair of pliers. I think those are nine inch linemans. No problem there. Um, if I wanted to, I could maybe stick another Joey pouch on somewhere, but um, this is just super impressive to me right there. The Magmaster, you know, when you're, you're pounding on something, trying to get the baseboard off or whatever, to be able to stick that, not on the client's hardwood floor, but just right there on that, and you know it's not coming off, that is super convenient. So um, the holstery stuff is awesome. You can use my code cheetah10 because uh, you got to stay light and fast like a cheetah in the streets. That's what I say when I wear this holstery stuff. I like to stay light and fast. So cheetah10, if you use that code, it's going to get you 10% off the entire site, site-wide. So you can order as much as you want. You're going to get 10% off if you use code uh, cheetah10 at checkout. Um, but th this stuff is just fantastic. Um, I've bought into it from day one. I, I, I really wanted to try this stuff. Finally got the chance to, to try it. This is the first thing that I ever got from um, is this regular Joey pouch and I have used and abused this thing. Um, haven't had a single issue with any of their products yet. Um, no warranty work, nothing. It just, the stuff just works. So I'm very, very happy with it. Um, go check out Holstery. Uh, check them out on Instagram too. They've got an Instagram site and I believe they're doing a giveaway right now. Um, this is April, 2023, and they're doing a, give, a pretty cool giveaway right now. So go check out the holstery, give them a shot. I love them.